Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be turbo ratting in a Manticore. The Manticore is actually pretty good at doing some null sec ratting in high risk areas because in my opinion I think it's pretty suited because it's not as, as much of a suspect as being a ratting ship compared to say an Ishtar. It's also a little bit more nimble than perhaps a cruise or battleship that is able to get out quickly if there's going to be threats that are going to be encountered. And it's also pretty cheap, so I think it's a good overall writing ship for people who have not got a really big budget. And you can still earn a decent amount of ISK without having to have your a lot of ISK on the grid. Now, last time we did ratting in a Manticore, and we didn't even do the full 20 minutes. We actually did like more like 18 minutes, or so 9 or 17 minutes for the whole tick. And we managed to get 25 million ISK tick. You can see here 12.5, 12.5, because we got first the bounty prizes, but then you also get the ESS, so they get 25 million ISK ticks. That's pretty good for a 67 million ISK ship. But we're going to make an improvement here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this Pith B type because we do not need this. This is not really too necessary because we're up against the Serpentis here. What we do need, however, is a target painter. Another target painter because it's going to aid us into doing extra damage to the small stuff, which is what actually took quite a bit of time. And then what we're also going to want to do is get a mobile mobile tractor unit because a mobile tractor unit will enable us to get the tank loot from these uh, NPCs. So you can check here, mobile tractor unit. And great, so we'll go to Dunk's Beehive. Go for that. And then we will, I think we'll hopefully have enough cargo space. Yeah, we should have enough cargo space. I, I think this is really cool. Probably I could even specialize more by having some interesting implants in, like a, a rapid launch. That is an implant that is pretty good. You can get it here. It's possible. I mean, it's not the cheapest implant, but it's something. 30% and then you can get torpedoes. Torpedo is also possible. Let's dock up here. So we'll swap swap around a little bit of the equipment of our ship here. So we'll remove this. Get another target painter. Great, it's also the cheaper one around here. Target painter, good. And then we also want to get that MTU. What about a tractor unit? Could be good to have. MTUs are pretty expensive here, it seems. I can't remember them being so expensive. Well, well, that's the way it's going to be. Undock. Let's go. The Manticores looks pretty cool. Okay. Let's get to the targets. Serpentis Havens is what I want to do. I want to also do these gas, not the, uh, the rock havens, which give this computer reading message when you try warp into it and stop. So let's go here. Put the rage torpedoes, good to have. We'll absolutely annihilate the first wave. Did we have a bay loading accelerator? Yeah, we did. Could be an idea to go with a calfaction catalyst, increases the damage per torpedo. It's more efficient uh, ammo wise, so we waste less ammo because each torpedo does extra damage. So it's something to think about. But on the other hand, I think that the like frequency at which you land torpedoes makes a big difference because uh, many times it's just common just one more volley and that time is reduced greatly by uh, by having the increased fire rate. Maybe pirate gear can orbit 10 kilometers perhaps. And we'll use the afterburner as well. I'm getting a bit of a speed. And then we can put the MTU slightly around the corner. The NPCs take a little bit of time to spawn in here it seems. Might want to orbit a little bit further away, 20 kilometers maybe. Let's go for these guys. And then drop the MTU. MTU. I have to keep it keep a little bit of an eye on the uh the D scan just in case you know someone decides to get cheeky and tries to jump in on us. I wonder if it's possible to one-shot them. Yeah, that's nice to see. And then you just land double target painters. You should hopefully be able to get a one-shot. Great. So we get some sick DPS here with the dual target painters. 
and it's great that we're cap stable and we we don't have like the most amount of hp a second but we've got something with this 12 hp a second here hmm and then we're just able to reload with our missiles very quickly because of that payloading accelerator are we doing max dps i think we're doing max dps because we've got like 2.9k volley here so it's a lot of dps for the amount of isk that we've hauled out here so one more volley i think is enough to end that guy great next one so we just keep doing this and get some nice isk i mean i think that if you have a very like efficient uh run you should be able to get 30 million isk to, to, like per tick if you include the salvage and everything and i think that could be very nice because you know 90 million is going on a stealth bomb is in my opinion a really good option and especially interesting as well because you're out here in space so it's not going to be too boring like obviously it's boring in the way that uh, you're doing the same thing over and over again but you're going to be outside in the middle of combat because we're in the 200 percent risk modifier index systems here so stuff is going to be happening here so you could be on the comms as well i'm not on the comms now because i'm recording the video but otherwise you could be on the comms chatting with people and be sort of close to other people or like where all the action is going on. I think that is pretty cool. I want to do this more often at least. I wreck that Lord Admiral. I think we might be doing a little bit of extra da damage now even to the battleships. I don't think we always got 100% application before. I could be wrong, but I think that was the case actually. I don't think we got 100% application previously when we had uh, one target beta. Either way, we're destroying these guys very quickly. Very, very quickly. Yeah, these are no match for the Manticore. Loki and Praxis nearby. Wonder what they're doing. I died previously in Golem. This is a bit of a different change of pace here with the cheap stealth bomber compared to. Uh, over billion isk battleship so let's check out the application we've got here because we had a little bit of trouble taking out these corelli guardian frigates but with the two target paints we should hopefully do a little bit more ah, it's still a little bit tough it's a little bit rough here oh 900 volley that's nice to see great great that's nice we eliminate these guys super fast feels quite a bit quicker than the last encounter but it's also because these guys are slightly stuck in the rocks you can see their velocity is quite low that's also a contributing factor here let's destroy that corelli guardian but i mean it's not so much more but it is something more i think we were getting like on the bad volley so these 250 seems to be the bad volley i think we were getting like 150 damage maybe 190 or something like that 160 so we're getting more okay great i think we just need to land one more volley in the sky if we're lucky there's one more extra come on a lot of volleys are wasted on these little frigates here take out this guy yeah that's annoying with the 250 volleys It's a little bit on the RNG factor that they happen to go into these asteroids so that they get stuck. That's when you really start doing a lot of damage. You can get, in terms of the loot, maybe like 5 million isk per one of these havens. And then you get maybe a couple of extra million isk on the, the salvage. It could be an option to fit some salvages here actually and just activate them when they're needed. So you can get some extra little side disc with your manticore. But it's better to just go with a specialized ship so then you're able to salvage very quickly. Look at that. Our mobile attractor unit has uh, accumulated some loot over there. Maybe go check it out a little bit. See what it gives. Oh, these nice volleys are great to see. Move forward, Manti. Uh, the dual target paints are better 
but they're not like crazily better it's on the other hand a little bit annoying to not have oh six million already that's great nice to see nice to see so you can get a lot of dank discs like this it's really profitable actually there we go last volley great now for the next one I remember previously we were getting like 2,000 volleys. Now I'm rarely seeing 2,000 volleys with the Manticore. So I definitely think we were seeing an improvement here in terms of our damage output. Also getting through these battleships super quickly. In general it feels like they're just... There's not really much significance here. I hope to destroy that guy, yeah. Great, I like saving a volley like that, free volley, because I was thinking of shooting another one of that guy, but I was unsure if the previous volley wasn't going to be able to take him out, but it was. See on the D scan if there's anything. Nothing here. 4k volleys. One volley left, I should have shot that last one. Sometimes you can try to get cheeky and try to save a volley and then you end up wasting the time you could have spent destroying the other ones. So I'll start, instead of reloading to the Kaldara Navy, I'll start shooting these guys directly with the Rage, since I've already got Rage loaded here. But the good thing about having extra damage, I remember I was saying before that reload time could be a good idea, but the good thing about having extra damage is maybe you could save one less volley on each NPC. But to me, it feels like it's more likely that you're going to save. You're the guarantee going to save time by reducing the reload time, rather when you're increasing the damage for volley. Then it's like sometimes you will, sometimes you won't save time. Maybe battle cruisers will be guaranteed one shot, but they're still almost all the time one shot right now. Maybe it could be that you just save a shot against the battleships, perhaps. Maybe you have to reload less as well, because you do more damage per full clip here. I think this last one here is the... yeah, exactly. That's unfortunate. I think this guy's going to just about make it. See, he's got... we've got two more torpedoes. Yeah, he's just about going to make it, I think. I don't think that last one is going to cut it. <laughs> See if we can reload the Kaldari Navy here. And then we put the Kaldari Navy against these small stuff. But you can see here, tank is no problem whatsoever. We're tanking really well, just by orbiting. No problem. Some big volleys on these Corelli Guardian Scouts. They're usually quite easy. The Corelli Guardian Spies, on the other hand, are usually a little bit more difficult. I wonder how much ISCA value of MTU we've collected here. You can check. Oh, I hope I don't get webbed now that this guy's getting close. 12 million, whoa. That's a lot of loot. Really, you get a large amount of loot actually from these. I didn't know it was this much. Now that they've got a lot of sensor dams, we probably should orbit a little bit closer because otherwise we won't be able to target them. Oof, one volley. That was so easy. This is really profitable, actually. 12 million, and we've not even done half the site, I think. Manti. Earning the nicest. Great. Next one. I wonder if we can use Rage, actually, on the cruisers. It'll be interesting to see if we can do that. And try taking out one of these uh, battleships, then we'll check the, the DPS numbers on the cruisers. I'm guessing we won't be able to do much damage, but we'll see. I don't think we were able to do max damage with the Kaldari Navy before. Or maybe we were. I can't really remember it being particularly slow with the uh, the Kaldari Navy before. Oh, we're getting sensed down pretty hard. We need to take out these annoying cruisers fast. So that we can start targeting again. We 
Need to move in a bit closer here. There's so much center dams here. Yeah, I should start taking these guys out quicker. But we're at a bit of a scary range here. So what kind of 500 volley? It's not too great, I think. We're getting a lot of damage being missed. And I want to switch that color for Kaldari Navy. Maybe we're able to apply fully with Kaldari Navy, perhaps? Well, we're still going to be doing a lot of damage. And then off to the next one. 15 million tick, whoa! 15 million tick, I think I even could have been better. At some points I was feeling a bit slow. So it's essentially we've got then a 30 million isk tick plus the loot. We check how much loot we got in this time. Whoa, what if we're able to exceed 30, 100 million isk an hour? That would be really great actually. That would be really dank isk actually. Scourge Rage. Got 13 million isk. So we've got 43 million isk essentially in 20 minutes. If you count everything here. This was a lucky drop though. These here were pretty lucky drops, but still. Let's say we were to get on average maybe 7, 8 million isk. If we were to discount for those lucky drops. 7, 8 million isk plus 30. Maybe 35 million isk now on average, perhaps. If we were to be super relaxed. That's still over 100 million isk now. Whoa, 100 million isk now in a manti. Now that I like. And then that's also excluding the rare drops we can get. We can sometimes get commander spawns. You'll be able to earn even more. Oh, 100 million isk now in the manti. That to me is nice isk. <laughs> Let's see if we can in fit everything here because I don't think we'll be able to fit everything with the amount of cargo hold our ship has got. Yeah, 700. Need to get, get something better here. Could perhaps like filter by the most valuable items. You would just take the valuable stuff and ditch everything else. Take a bit of damage from the Core Lord Admiral, but it's alright. Go to this MTU over here. Sort by EST price. So maybe here is where most of the value is lying. And that's 500, oh, that's still a lot of space. What about here? 300. 200, okay, we need quite a bit of space to be able to haul in everything. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we can get here. But otherwise, I like that. That's good. That's really good, actually. So if we go here and grab the MTU. And then we see if we can pick all the high value, small volume items. That's all we want to do here. So like these MWDs are pretty good. These plates are pretty good. These are pretty big. It's a bit difficult with these grapplers. It's something. Not enough cargo space, okay. So we'll take out that one there and then we'll go to, oh, this is the last one. This is the last one actually. So we could actually just leave the MTU here. And then we can get it for later. I thought we had to destroy more NPCs to get through the entire site mobile. Where's our MTU? Here it is. Great. Hmm. Wonder if the extra volume or the extra damage from a calfaction catalyst would be worth it. Some we could maybe one shot more battle cruisers, but the reload is nice, but we will earn, save Isk as well by the efficient, more efficient uh, use of ammo. So, it's, hmm, what would you guys take if you were to decide? Would you take Confection Catalyst for extra damage per missile, or would you take the Bay Loading Accelerator for extra reload time? I'm curious what you guys would do. This last room is pretty sweet because it's only got big stuff that you're easily able to apply to. Orbit, maybe 
15 kilometers. I remember I used to struggle with this in Inishtar, or not Inishtar, Vexor Navy issue a long time ago. Then the Vexor Navy issue got changed, then it was not the most optimal writing ship. But I still thought that this wave was pretty difficult because there was a lot of incoming DPS. On the other hand, Manticore does not care at all. After Burner Freak, it completely tanks or kites everything. Let's see if that MTU is pulling and stuff, yeah. It's pulling the stuff from that previous pile. Maybe it was, uh, I should have put it a bit closer, but it's all right. I'll eventually get there. See if we've got a cargo ship in the system that we can get, like an Iteron, maybe? Or maybe even something that's got able to have cargo capacity and salvaging on the same ship. That would be good. Maybe a Noctis is possi that possible? A Noctis good. Noctis. Because they can... Yeah, Noctis would be nice with this. I'm not sure if it will be able to carry everything, but I think it will be able to carry a lot. What about the... Oh, that's expensive. What a salvage ship, but ship I think is pretty expensive. Well, actually, not that expensive, all things considered. 30 million extra over the average price. Only two battle cruisers left. Let's check out this MTU. See what we've got here. Great. Alright. So you use about use about like 350 ammunition maybe. Per run. Not that much in terms of the tech two ammo, the Kaldari Navy is the more expensive one. Still, it's not that big of a difference in price. 2.4k per unit, 1.8k per unit. Oh, a security intrusion in his process. Hmm. Might want to check that out, actually. I was a bit worried about uh, warping that. Though. Maybe we can warp it 100. <laughs> Someone want to steal all our dank ticks. There's an Aries here. Praxis is here. He's really tryharding to come to me. <laughs> that guy. 4k a second burning in. It's been severed. Okay, great. A threat has been repelled. Alright, so that's some ratting in the Manticore. A very, uh, very, very good ticks we're getting here with this little ship. A lot more than I would have ever expected, actually, from a ship of this size. Uh, really happy. So far, I think this is probably going to be one of my go-to activities they do in Nullsec, because you can sort of be involved in the area around. At the same time, you can also uh, just uh, earn some nice ISK, and it's not just any ISK, it's pretty decent ISK at the same time as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's enough for now. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.